one one month sober i did it but uh one month sober one month sober those words feel great coming out of my mouth oh yeah um i'm tired uh been more this is my 14th straight day working um i haven't really thought about any of this you know i have a sober app that you know reminds me of my milestones um which is good you know that i haven't really been thinking too much of it uh yesterday i was supposed to get my shot uh vivitrol shot uh, doctor got sick. Therapist got sick. Seems like the whole building got sick. They're both, you know, in the same building. And I was like, huh. And then open my emails. And there's, uh, they're doing like this weekly Halloween special for Kino. And like Kino drinking would definitely, you know, go hand to hand. Kino and gambling and drinking. And you now that leads to other things. And, you know, a, lot, a domino effect. And I just kind of looked at the email. It took me like two minutes to delete it. I'm just like, this is, I'm like how things have been happening. You know, people from my past popped up, popped up in nowhere. And, you know, old girlfriends and, you know, new uh, scenarios. Like doors keep getting open or whatever. And I'd close all of them um the last few days you know blocking people and just dissing this is this is this the distant distant seeing myself i can't talk i'm tired but my stutters just keeps has been off and on um i don't know if that has anything to do with like the shot wearing off because like those last like a month just stuttering that bad right now want me to delete this video and restart it but i'm not going to uh not hiding nothing but um i know i can't you know work this much forever and with winter coming uh definitely not going to i'm not gonna get up at 2 a.m and shovel and stuff like that uh plus you know overtime is not guaranteed we're starting we're gonna get slow for sure probably we usually do uh soon so um you know i gotta figure out hobbies and stuff to keep myself busy you know obviously not having a license or car limits that but you know thank god you know i'm getting i'm given this opportunity to get sober you know before any of that stuff happens um don't want to make you know those mistakes again not going to uh saying so, uh with winter you know just hibernate <laughs> stay warm so i'm not really too worried about it. i hate cold weather so much getting older you know it just gets harder and harder uh get out of bed around it's like oh man my leg like it's, it's old age sucks uh and I keep, you know, all these tests and stuff have just been so ironic and, you know, a lot so soon. Um, but I'm proud of myself for doing well. Um, for the most part, you know, still making mistakes here and there. You know, that's always going to happen. Not going to be perfect, you know. Uh, just learning from them. Being conscious. And, you know, I've been feeling like this. I'm on this high right now, but... Why can't I just feel like this forever? Why does it have to be like a high? Like, it is so, it still weirds me out feeling so happy and calm, calmer. I'm never, I have such high, weird energy. Uh, and I'm just embracing myself, just being myself, you know, um, you know, with the anxiety and stuff, and I'm still <sighs> get, you know, too worked up easily and you know i still got a lot to work on for sure but uh yeah i'm trying to stick to my rules you know no uh 
dating or anything like that for you know go year sober before even considering it doing well on that um I don't know just trying to you know I feel like I got once again these compliments are really just I don't know how to take them you know I'm just I tried to just make a joke like you look so great and happy and it's like well yeah I always look great like just it's hard for me to take a compliment then I'm like no serious that means a lot I just uh, it's hard for me to be serious but you know uh the other day two people came up to me as like you seem different I was like what do you mean it's like no in a good way like you seem happy like you just seem really yourself and it's like you're glowing you look good and just everything's going well I'm like am I pregnant like when I hear glowing that's what I think of of course I had to try and make it into a joke I was like yeah that it's weird you know just and like I've noticed when I'm really laughing at something I just I just like a dopamine or something like it feels really good I'm like I'm really enjoying this you know I'm embracing this moment right now I'm like just trying to I'm just having fun I'm not even really doing anything particularly fun just like having conversations you know it's I got so much anxiety talking to people being around people but it's like I'm all it's hard to admit I'm like I'm just stubborn I'm actually kind of enjoying it you know uh obviously I got figure out stuff outside of work but for now this has been my safety net it's going well obviously you know Saving up money is going to be nice and pay off all my debts and get ready for the future or build towards the future. So I'm just re really proud. One month, you know, went from day milestones, week milestones, now month milestones. Um, obviously, like five, six weeks, I'm still going to count those as milestones. But the climbing that ladder, you know, uh, each milestone feels better. Uh, it makes me more proud. Obviously, the longer you go, like, you know, when months turns into years and years and years and just something to look forward to for sure. Um, and then not getting the, I don't get the shot. I had to reschedule it until I think November 9th. First, second week of November. But, um, and I almost was like, well, if I can go two weeks with that, I'm still going to get it. Like, I know how my mind works. I'm, you know, just to be safe, you know, I'm going to do that for a while. So I'm going to be working probably every day, you know, if it's available until then anyway. So that helps. Too tired to do anything. Uh, and honestly, like having all these conversations just opening up you know i don't care about judgment think what you want of me and stuff like that um doesn't really bother me anymore i can't pretend nothing bothers me uh of course stuff does um but just hearing like certain people's stories and decisions is like i makes me feel better about the ones i'm making now you know i'm not judging or anything i people your life your rules you know um I just know I don't want to live that life anymore. You know, I want to be normal. I mean, I'll never be normal. I'm weird as heck. <laughs> but I want to, like, a normal life. Like, maybe one day get married. Maybe one day have kids, you know. And that's it. Just, you know, one girl, one relationship, kids. Be normal. Be faithful. Be honest. Come home from work. Have family time you know, date night, family night, stuff like that, you know, be loved and give love, you know, that's, I think that's a natural thing, I'm not chasing it, if it happens, it happens, if it don't, don't, you know, um, but I know isolating myself is not the greatest idea, but, you know, for now, I think it's going well, so, but yeah, just one month sober, <laughs> keep them ones up, baby, uh, I'm very excited for it, now, if I wasn't so tired, I'd be screaming for sure i'm sure i will at work once i wake up but uh very proud very proud moment i'm about to cry i got to get off here but yeah thanks for watching y'all